Hello everybody, and welcome back to Victoria 3. Last we left off, we were kind of, you know, trying to get an economic boom going, and we did grow quite a bit. We're 11 worldwide for our GDP, uh, but we're going to need to pump the brakes on this excess spending, like now, uh, because we did just go into a customs union with the Russian market here. And unfortunately, that's not going too well for us, because there's not a whole lot of industrialized goods in the Russian market. So uh, we're getting kind of close to our max here. We have four, 4 million, actually. Pretty pretty up there. 4 million, like, just straight across to go. Uh, we're currently reducing as many, as much budget as we can with expenses, and we're currently taxing the shit out of our people. Along with a grain tax that they're probably not too happy about. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cut back on our construction here. Um, so we can't cut buildings due to radicalization. Downsizing this building will turn some of the fired individuals into radicals. The building cannot be downsized due to ongoing revolution brewing. What are we a revolution? Preserve serfdom. Go away. We, we're preserving. There we go. We preserved serfdom. Good job. Alright. We'll cut back on the construction there. And. Yeah, as I thought, we're still kind of like hurting and hemorrhaging money. Um. I mean, we really can't downsize the military anymore, but we're gonna. We're gonna do it. I'll hold on to 20. I will cut the naval base all the way to 20, just to match our military there. We will keep the lowest expenditures for our military budget right now. Uh, um, and now I'm going to need to look into my economy and see if I can get anything. Which probably won't be a whole lot. Okay. We are currently in free fall when it comes to our economy. With no way out. I have currently made it not cost as much hmm. to get stuff done. Let's go for a mount, since we don't got a whole lot of money for any of these. And can we get anything from... Nope. Okay. What expensive goods do we have? Steel. Actually, let's let the game run for a little bit, especially since I just cut back on some construction. And we'll see if our economy adjusts. Okay. We're still losing some of these things. Look at that. Uh, why did I just go into my government tab? Hurting for that. Explosives. Not very good. Um, we're actually going to... We're just going to butcher ourselves with the military right now. Uh... We're going to keep that down to 10. We'll keep that to 20 for any rebellions. Um, expensive military goods. We have a lot of low market access. Okay. Well, I mean, not a lot we can do. We cut a lot of expenditures, but we're still falling. That interest rate is massive. We are currently suppressing the Shogunate. But that does not appear to be helping them at all. I wish I could, like, assassinate somebody. Their leader is really great. If we could cut serfdom, that would be wonderful. Um, I'm pretty sure... Wow, they're neutral. The peasants are neutral towards serfdom. It's interesting. Uh, the trade unions are not happy. All of these powers combined, apparently, cannot hope to like stop serfdom apparently because these guys can like absolutely lock up uh some of these laws traditionalism let's try to get rid of serfdom that's giving them a lot of money i'll go for regulatory bodies see if we can get anything done or er, giving them a lot of political power nope that's not gonna happen because it's stalled okay Well, I mean, this is kind of what we're going to have to do for the meantime. Wow, that's 
a lot. Give me some fertilizer. Give me a bunch of fertilizer. The Ottomans are free, pretty much. Those are free, pretty much. Okay, there go those things. An active trader house. All these things making me spend a lot of money. Why are all those trade routes so expensive all of a sudden? Glass is expensive. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. I want, I want to do some research as to why this is stalling so bad. I'm pretty sure it's because it's showing it. Okay. Uh, if we just hover over something, uh, we can actually, you know, understand things better, <laughs> you know, like a Paris paradox game should be. But essentially, it's this legitimacy being so low. That's why these laws are taking like 20 billion years to pass. Uh, so I'm going to have to structure the government in such a way that uh, basically makes it to where essentially it's more in tune with what our government currently is right now. Uh, so that's some high legitimacy right there. I'm going to try, certainly going to try, and get someone involved that can help get rid of serfdom. Uh, these industrials are relatively what we want, but I know they're not the greatest. The trade unions would be nice, but the legitimacy is like a lot lower and they also don't have a whole lot of support so we're going to use the industrialists as a tool to forward our political agenda cannot be promoted to power while approval is at angry it's not at angry they're actually pretty chill they are they angry we'll let the uh we'll let the show it think about what they've done can we Cannot be promoted to power while suppressed. Oh, I see. Stop suppressing them. Okay. Serfdom. Very low chance. Agrarianism. 285 days. That's nice. Okay. We'll go ahead and try that. Uh, and it's probably going to be these political parties that give us the means to hopefully stay alive. That's really low legitimacy. Um, we'll get the samurai. No, not the samurai. Okay, we'll we'll just do a little bit at a time. <laughs> See if we can get agrarianism passed. That alone will help our taxation. That could potentially save the economy. And we are no longer suppressing them, and yet we are still losing a lot of money. Or authority. Authority. Alright, let's see... Let's see what happens. Expensive military goods. I know we can jump out of this trade union in October time. Um. <clears throat> Can't be broken until 1894 of October 30th. Believe is what it said. Okay. Well, we're a little neutered in terms of a lot for right now, but we'll take our economy growth slow. Um, our construction is still using this. How much will this save us? Eh. Eh. Unproductive trade routes again. Try to cut back on those. Can we export anything for a lot of money? Not really. More very unproductive trade routes. We can export some wood from the Russian market and gain a lot of money from it. I'm not sure if this is giving it to Russia or to me. It'd be pretty whack if it was giving it to Russia because I'm the one doing the trade route. French market would be nice. Am I not making money off tariffs? I, I, st I still don't think I'm making money off tariffs. I'm not exactly sure how that's going, but this forced market opening is probably the thing that's killing us, and we're getting rapidly close to... Oof. 
get into our, our max budget there. I might have just to pause all construction. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to have to do for the meantime. Just to get some money into our government. No one's using anything, right? Okay, not for right now. Well, we're kind of going to stagnate for a little bit in terms of economy, unfortunately. We need to get this interest paid off from this loan. I am not going to let some world power bankroll Japan. We'll have time to recover. And I have a feeling that these trade routes I have set up aren't actually making us any money. Like, at all. Um, so anything I'm exporting, I'm just going to stop exporting. I'm... No, we are getting trade revenue. Especially... We're getting trade revenue. I don't know. That's weird. We have an open market, but we have a customs union. That's strange. Okay, we have the rotary valve engine. We need something. What are we struggling most for in the economy? our market. We need to seriously focus on that. Uh, liquor is pretty bad. As is wood. Liquor's being really bad. I'm pretty sure it's because someone's buying it from us. Yeah, the Russians are buying our liquor. Oof. Well, this is in our market. I don't know what I'm upset about. Pneumatic tools would be nice. Um, mostly because that would help us build more faster. Let's go for mutual funds. We'll lower that low interest rate. Let's get some neutrality going on here too. Okay, we'll 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 start the road to recovery. The Russians are just having a freaking field day with their market, though. No, nope, can't lower it. Gotta keep it to the max. Okay, agrarianism is slowly taking off. Once I slowly kind of push my government in the direction of where it should be, hopefully we'll be able to remove the shogunate. The industrialists are going to pave the way. They're also probably the ones giving us... No, they're not even giving us a lot of money. Cool. Well, it is what it is. It's a slow process. France wishes us to join their customs union. France, I would literally want nothing more right now. Okay, so we're back under the French. And we're probably going to stay this way. Because France is a powerhouse. Expensive government goods. Clippers. We'll take what we can get for the clippers, honestly. Unproductive trade routes. What's that? Of course. What's our market looking like now? Clothes. Wine. Wood. A lot of stuff, but I feel safer under the French than I do the Russian market. Okay, wasn't too bad. Now it's mostly a waiting game, especially when it comes to the road to recovery. What happens if I resume construction right now? Input good shortages. We're still hurting. Especially an iron frame. Yeesh. I don't want to leave our economy stagnating too long. We'll... We'll keep this going. The investment pool's honestly saving our ass. Where it becomes available to construct buildings in country's current economic system law permits. 
be built with these funds. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. We're slowly getting that. Thankfully, under the French, we seem to be able to kind of hold a decent balance when it comes to everything. Okay, cool. We're getting closer to agrarianism. We're actually making political progress. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the peasants here, so let's just leave them to chill. The samurai are neutral. But if I put them over, it lowers our legitimacy. Uh, literally everybody lowers our legitimacy. Where did the trade unions go? The trade unions just disappeared from political groups? Interesting. Yeah, that's freaking crazy that we're under this economic law. It doesn't e oh yeah, it doesn't even allow the investment pool to build certain things. So our economy is like dead dead. Wonder we're struggling. The investment pool just is building up right now. We have tons of investments point or tons of money for investments that could go into our economy, but currently is not. Our farms are about to get a big boost, but I wish our industry would get some investments. We'll give our industrialists more political strength. Um, yeah. The shogunate are, of course, getting bigger. But we'll slowly change our economy to usurp them. Oh, who's... A Boringal Uprising? Alright, mobilize the military. Surprised that we can even do such a thing without losing money. <clears throat> we have a lot of stuff to build. We are getting there, though. From Royal Decree? Okay. It's like gaining and losing support at the same time. I might throw in someone else to help assist with all this stuff. Okay, thank goodness. We can subsidize certain things. Not too concerned about that. The aristocrats can invest into the contribution pool, or the investments pool. And now, we can use these funds, as we saw. The investment fund transfers here will give us a boost to our economy. And that is freaking awesome. Uh, what do we want next? Definitely not going back to traditionalism. Serfdom? I would love to abolish that. But I don't know how well that's going to go over. Private health insurance? Not right now. Democracy? Not right now. Freedom of consensus? Nope. Land-based taxation. Per capita taxation. That would be a wonderful start to our economy, especially when it comes to taxes. Who would support such a thing? What do the samurai say? I don't think they care about economy. No, the samurai would love to have this. So let's get them involved. See if we can get this law passed a little better. It'll take a little while, but we're getting there. Gantry cranes. Okay, this should give us better ports. Yeah, we'll lose a fuck ton of money though, so that's not happening right now. We have some inactive trade routes, not really. Okay, we are now losing a lot more political or bureaucracy, so we need to up that just a tad bit to get some more money. We're going to have to put these at the top of the queue because we're not doing too great when it comes to construction. Something keeps popping up as unproductive. Eh, get rid of it. Oh, 
they just gave up. The rebellion gave up. I wish I could attack these hooligans. But they're not, like, doing anything. I guess they don't have a military or something. They're, like, at a constant state of civil war, so... They can't do anything. What do you mean have a claim on them? What if I just damage our relations? Just piss them off. Make them hate us. Why are their relations cordial? That's so weird. Oil do be expensive. I am not losing money to that. Oh, man. It's been a slow start, but we're getting there. I've never really had to battle with the political system before. I was usually able to just uh, get stuff going. Oh, sorry. Give me one second. Okay. Sorry about that. Dog's being all weird. Well, I mean... Not doing too bad, especially with our investment pool. Let's consider... Lowering taxes. Just to make people not hate us as much. That would be nice. Because we currently don't have a whole ton of loyalists. Input good shortages. Ironclads. No one's really making them. I think except for me. Okay, people want total separation. Well, not really. Oh, these are, they want it. But not a whole lot of people are supporting it, so sucks for y'all. Oh, we just got a huge bump to supporters. Material waste inactive. Okay. Oh, the nobles are actually cutting down on our income. Screw these guys, honestly. A lot of people are liking us going against them. So, we're gonna, as long as we maintain the, the monarchy, I will be happy. <laughs> be like that. All those people we gained are now gone. <laughs> More unproductive trade routes. Nice. Get rid of those. As we slowly pull ourselves from the depths of economic ruin, we will be better GDP wise. Oh wow, our GDP is still kind of growing. We're number two. Oh my god. How wonderful it is to have actual taxation going on. That is a huge buff to our economy. Oof, we can't really do that quite yet in terms of government wages, but now... How does that feel? That hurts a little bit. That do be hurting a little bit. We'll bump that up. Uh, we'll keep Iron Frame working here. And that'll help us build up. Let's just pay the military and the government. Hey, an heir was born. Nice. Okay, things are really looking up here. As we continue to improve our economy, life gets better. Oh, wow. Look at them. They're helping. We're slowly pulling away from the uh, shogunate. Um, okay, so now what? We want total separation, right? What is currently giving the Shogun at their power? Monarchy, hereditary bureaucrats, and serfdom. Okay. I want the industrialists to be a part of our government. <laughs> They're okay with serfdom abolished. Okay. 
What about the samurai? I doubt they really care much. We'll go for it. And we'll see if we can pull that from the shogunate. Oh. No, keep the peasants away. Intelligentsia away, Buddhist away. Whatever legitimacy we do have. <laughs> okay, so we, we're really actually going to be able to uh, probably do this. But man, the shogunate are making it difficult. Really, the samurai are against this as well. That's kind of upsetting. What the heck, guys? Thought we were friends. Is this... I guess th if they're not involved with the government, they're, they're like cards still work. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and get serfdom abolished. Get that out of here. Get that corn out of my face. And our GDP slowly grows. Let's just check our economy real quick. Just make sure what's going on. We could make some more chemical plants, but meh. Oh, we have rotary valve engines now. This employs less workers. Not exactly what we need. Yeah, not exactly what we need right now. But money's getting better, at least. I'm surprised no one's... The investment pool is freaking humongous. I wish we had, like, laissez-faire or something where, like, tons of stuff will get all the money they could ever want for construction. Okay, and with more approval from those groups, we get more loyalists. The industrialists will freaking love us right now. I don't know where the trade unions are. Apparently we're getting negative buffs from them, <laughs> but they're nowhere to be found. So, uh, that's fun. Ironclads, ambush witches. I mean, yeah, that is pretty expensive. It does hurt my feelings, but no one's making them. Let's actually don't do that for that trade good there. Nothing? Okay. Thought I bought something that was too expensive, but whatever. Yep, there it was. Sorry, I don't know. Let me chase this for a second. Nope. No nothing? Okay. Hey, now we're getting rubber plantations. Okay, that's wonderful, because I'm pretty sure we're hurting for that. Yep, we are going to be able to get five of these. And we'll be able to upgrade them to use railroads. Rubber on railroads. Interest group leader retires. Who? Is it the Shogunate? No, it's the Buddhist monks. I'd imagine this guy's never going to die. Our legitimacy just keeps getting lower and lower. Oh, wow. High income taxes actually affects that. Okay. Well... Let's not piss off the samurai more than we have to. Who does this piss off? The petite bourgeoisie? I am not too concerned about them, honestly. More unproductive trade routes. A revolution to preserve serfdom. 
Let's see how bad it gets. Hopefully uh, they stall out at a high level. Because they don't always follow through with it. They'll threaten it, but kind of like chill out for a little bit. Yep, just more migration. Okay, no signs of slowing down. Oh, are they capping out? Okay, they seem to have stalled at 78. Hopefully we can abolish serfdom. Um, oh my gosh, mutual funds, and it lowers the interest rate on our uh, loan here. We're going to increase our taxation capacity to get even more monies. And we can actually have a nice middle cut for our economy, so no one's upset at all. Um, that's beautiful. Okay. All right, input good shortages, nothing we can do about it. And we'll get a little more uh, taxable income from taxation capacity. And we're gonna hold the Shogun here. Uh, we will not falter in this. Watch them just freak out on my ass and actually pull a revolution when I'm not looking. Gonna have to keep a close eye on it. Okay, should be fine. I'm gonna bump up by one construction sector. He says as he's still in debt. And how much will this publicly traded help us? A lot. Okay, more investment points for literally everything. And we just get more money. Okay. Some of them benefit from it, some don't. It's okay. Overall, this will get us some more money. So much better. Oh my gosh, that was a lot more money. Okay, what about y'all? Publicly traded. Eh. A lot more money. A lot more money. Uh, sure. Let's cut down on the workers. Let them save some of their cash. We'll be using more coal and tools, but that'll be alright. We'll let the French worry about that. Can't do that. They need explosive capped. Alright. Life's getting a little bit better for us. Okay, they're kind of inching up again. Ouch. Okay, they're hanging around 79 now. And the samurai keep activating material waste. Now we're hurting for cash. What is... What's going on here? Arms Industries, of course, aren't making any cash. Hmm. Okay, wheat farms, rice farms are sucking, livestock... It's because we don't have rail transportation. Maybe it was our investment pool. I'm not sure. But now we're hurting for cash. <clears throat> Most of Africa has been taken over by the French. Anything of value. And the French seem to be building the Suez Canal. OK, 
okay, we'll reduce dependence income. Not that I think there was a lot of that to begin with. It seems the Japanese shogunate's losing ground. Oh yeah, they're losing a lot of power. That's really good. So we're slowly gonna shift over to the industrialists. Loving that, loving that. This investment pool is saving our butts. still number 11 worldwide for GDP. And I really wish these guys would finish their rebellion already. Yeah. Oh, wow. Who can we ally with? France? Well, that's just mean. Human rights. Ew. Hopefully nobody starts getting any ideas. Will we get abolished serfdom? That would be pretty cash money. We've got three months to see if we do. Oh my gosh. Sweet's going wild. Discover rubber everywhere. Okay, let's make sure we are all on the same page when it comes to the production. There goes uh, revolutionary Scandinavia, and that revolution's over. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> How's our taxation going? It's better. Could always be better than what it was. Oh, a lot of people are doing the cotton thing now, aren't they? Let's make the railroads government run. Just get a little more cash out of them. And we'll have more construction sectors going, just to grow even more. Okay, serfdom didn't pass, unfortunately. Okay, no. Trade unions? No. Peasants? No. And it wasn't them, okay. Buddhist monks? Nope. Nobody can really join our government quite yet. The shogunate are still very upsetty spaghetti. But they're gonna have to forget about it. What's up, France? Defensive pact? You're telling me I get defended by France? I'll also get attacked by anybody who attacks France, so... I'm gonna chill for the meantime. I might... Heck, why not? Let's, let's do the defensive pact. Just have someone looking out for us in our corner. So the French are being quite nice to us. I really enjoy that. Okay, we did get more construction sectors. I'm just going to grab the more. Our economy seems to be doing all right. Mostly because of the investment pool. But if we can, you know, rock the investment pool for a little bit longer, especially with this construction... I'm certainly going to try to. Let's not go too overboard, though. Yeah, I don't. We're not stopping the production of our guns. Sorry, Chief. 
Automobiles. No, that's not us. I didn't know the French already had that. That's freaking crazy. Oh. Look at Paris. The Eiffel Tower. So gorgeous. They have a bit of rebellion going on over here, but it's okay. It's Alsace Lorraine. And Prussia is still Prussia. They're not really the North German Confederation quite yet. All right, investment pool's going bye-bye. Makes me sad. Ah, there goes our money. It's because we're making the factories now and we can't... Our law doesn't really cover that, does it? For, for subsidies. And investments, yeah. Any sort of... Uh, factory won't make our economy grow. But uh, we got coffee plantations going up, so we'll be alright. What, 18 more weeks? Or three more weeks, we'll be able to. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Alright. Got some coffee plantations going. Our investment pool will go back up. We get, see, another coffee plantation. There goes our investment pool again. Beautiful. Okay. We're going back up now that we have uh, farms going. Are there any... There's a lot of farms about to grow. Okay. We're going to be a little cheeky and bump our construction sector up by quite a bit while all this is happening. And we'll see where this takes us. Because I want to have an economic boom here. We need to grow quickly. 21. What? Why 21? An ongoing revolution prevents me from cutting down on that. Oh, that's going to suck. The freaking Shogunit. I hope they're losing power by, like, a lot right now. What are they at? They're at 19.5. They are an extremely weakened state. Um, the Shogun is not powerful anymore. We do not have insurrectionally interest groups, and this needs to be true for 10 years. Okay. We can't piss off the industrialists. They are literally leading our government right now. So we'll go ahead and keep the industrialists happy. The samurai are very unhappy. Why is that? Are they opposing the abolishment of serfdom? I thought they were neutral towards it. They should be neutral towards it. I don't know why they're not. Oof, what are we building now? Logging camps and fishermen wars. How about, just a thought, we keep writing this uh, investments for farms and stuff and see where that gets us. <laughs> oh, dye plantations as well should be able to help us with that. We're about to have to upgrade a lot of industry and that's gonna hurt my, well, all of our feelings by quite a bit. Uh, let's just try to bump up all the farm stuff that we can just to keep riding this investment high. Because I, I know our farms need it. Tea, rice, sugar, sugar, cotton, wheat. Alright. And then more rubber, rice. Okay. That should be most of the farming stuff. Uh, factories are going to take a bit of a back seat, but I don't think we're necessarily hurting for factories right now. I think we're doing pretty alright in terms of all that jazz. Oh, what's going on? The Karen Uprising. No, thank you, Karen. Okay, we are now losing money. What happened to our investment pool? Yep. More, uh... 
More friends would be nice. Twenty-five percent military goods waste. Can you stop being an asshole, please? Expensive military goods. Literally everything. And now we're back. Okay, that was weird. Investment pool just skyrocketed out of nowhere. We should be growing pretty fast. Just need to stabilize. Just need to get better. Just need to dump our freaking interest rate for our loans. Silk will be a nice addition to our economy, though. I think we're actually hurting for silk. Just a little bit. Not by much. It'll be fixed shortly after we're done. Uh, we are losing furniture badly, though. And for some reason, a lot of trade routes just died. No, that was input code shortages. No thanks. Good. I'm still not sure if I get tariffs or not. I think I'm just getting tariffs from like French things. Unsure. How long is this open market happening? 31 years. We're getting close to being able to decide whether we can close our or have some mercantilism for our stuff. Serfdom abolished, please. It's a 30% chance, but we'll see. Okay, round and round the political process we go. The Shogunate's still very not powerful. Once we get rid of it, though, we'll get rid of it. The samurai need to calm down with being assholes, though. Making it very hard to run an economy. Okay, did we run out of we ran out of farm stuff to do? <laughs> Ouch. Oh well. How about we just chill out on that? How about we chill out even more on that? Thanks. <laughs> and we'll just let those slowly build. Why do we have so many fishing wharves and whaling stations? No clue. Okay. We got a bunch of inactive trade routes. And unproductive trade routes. And I think this will be a good stopping point for this episode. Thank you all for joining, and I really hope you're enjoying. Uh, I know I am. You guys are watching the crap out of that first episode in the series, so I'm honestly honored and flattered by so much attention. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, hopefully be able to keep these uploads going through Thanksgiving. No promises, though. I'm gonna be heading home and enjoying some family but i'll try my best to upload as much as i can and keep it going over the weekdays so you can enjoy it while you're also with your families or if not with your friends but uh yeah i will see all of you in the next one bye everybody